my dear Taurus. Hi, how are you doing? Welcome to your reading. Hoping that you're well. Happy safe. This is going to be a reading for late May all the way to June. I was being called to do your reading today for some reason. So we're going to see. We're going to see why. What's happening with Taurus? Personal readings are being offered Taurus. Special offers as well are available if you're interested. Send me an email. It's in the description box below. And let's get started. My dear Taurus. Spirit, what messages do we have? In regards to Taurus, what is the current energy? What does Taurus need to know? All right, so as your first card, we have Clover. Wow, heavenly card. We have Snake. Very interesting. And the letter at the bottom of the deck, we have the broom. Taurus, honey. First of all, I do want to say that there is a lot of opportunities around you right now, okay? Spirit here is telling you that you're being surrounded by luck. You're being surrounded by abundance, by people that want to help you from left to right. Um, some of you, this could be in regards to your work. I do feel like there's a lot of beautiful opportunities here coming in, blessings coming through to the point where you won't even have the time to actually scratch your head, <laughs> It's like there's no time here that you're going to be having to waste. Some of you, that could be your advice, okay, to not waste your time onto people or things or connections that are just like a dead end street, okay? Because for some reason, being with the snake being in the center here, I feel like a lot of you, you might have been draining your energy. You might have been wasting your energy or giving yourself away. Okay, your energy, your love, your affection, your time, um, whether it be to a particular person, to a particular connection, um, that was not necessarily a healthy choice. All right, now, some of you, this is also speaking of intentions. So I wonder whether you recently have realized that someone doesn't necessarily have good intentions for you here, Taurus, or that their intentions do not necessarily match yours. In which case I would say, it's time for you to rather see everything more logically and strategically, right? Um, it's very interesting, this energy. I feel like you're outgrowing something, Taurus. You're coming out of something because you're learning your lesson. Now, let me see here. Something might have been on your mind here. Something might have been on your mind, and this could be for a lot of you in regards to a particular person or a connection that you feel like you need to let go um, I do feel like either you could be receiving a message here or communication from this person, or this is also speaking of something that you might have been expecting. Um, and for some reason, I feel like you're not going to be waiting any longer. You know, there's almost an energy of I'm going to go my own way or I'm not going to necessarily mope around about the situation. Okay, so if something has been on your mind, I feel like you're going to be no longer rather wasting your time on it here. This message has been coming through a lot for you here. So we're going to start to do a reading and see what's going on for our dear Taurus. Um, very interesting. Some of you, I just heard you can see what someone's intentions are through the way they communicate with you. Okay, perhaps um, they're not really consistent with you. Or this also could be speaking of always pay attention to... Um, the words someone says to you. I don't know. For some reason, the energy of communication is really coming through. Maybe someone's not necessarily being clear about um, their intentions with you. Or they've been rather trying to not address something or to not be clear about something. Maybe you've been wanting some kind of a clarity that this person has not been giving to you. We're going to see here what's going on for our dear Taurus spirit. What is the energy... Fort Taurus, Nine of Diamonds. You've got a lot of options, Taurus. And the spirit here is telling you that you don't have any time to waste, okay? And sit around for someone to call you, to text you. You got to get going, honey. And a lot of you, I even feel like you could be even not... Okay, ready for this? This is going to sound specific. Some of you might not even be committed to this person, or there might have not even been any form of a commitment, but you rather feel that sense of attachment or 
this also is giving me some kind of a regret energy like hmm, i shouldn't have like done that or why did i do that but the spirit here is rather telling you hey it was an experience you know move ahead very dear taurus in regards to late may what is the energy and what is happening Ooh, that is a card from another deck let's see five of diamonds and the ace of wands in reverse i wonder taurus if you've been delaying something here okay because i feel like you have a particular idea here honey okay and this could be for a lot of you in regards to moving on or moving forward doing something new starting something up maybe some of you have been rather hesitant to be open to dating after let's say an ending or whatever the case is and the spirit here is telling you hey open open up your energy and make space for love or um because i'm getting some kind of a delay energy which i don't like here it's almost like you know what you should do but you're rather hesitant to do it or you're rather hesitant to move forward you know what i mean and the spirit here is telling you hey you know it's time it's time for you to get going to take action like i said i feel like you're gonna get busy to the point where you won't even have the time to scratch your head like Within the next few months, I'm predicting a lot of success and a lot of productivity, a lot of different beautiful experiences, even traveling, some of you I'm getting, or a lot of attention, recognition that's going to be coming through. Some of you I'm hearing through online, maybe you're going to be popular. And I feel like you just will, you know, look back and be like, oh, I was, you know, I was upset about that. Or like, I was thinking about that person at that time. Same kind of energy. Now, some of you okay i'm gonna also tell you this this is gonna sound also very specific there could be a person here that is no longer pursuing or putting as much effort and this is for a lot of you something that has happened already so that's gonna resonate right do not take as um if it doesn't resonate with you but i feel like there might have been a situation in which you feel like someone's almost withdrawing or pulling back and i'm here to say that do not chase after this person, okay? You're not the one who needs to actually do anything. So the Spirit's message to you, if this is your situation, is to not take action and just stay calm. Focus on yourself. Because there's something with you not lowering your standards that's coming through, so I wonder what's been going on. You know what I mean? So, Spirit, is there any other messages before I... Um, and get some more clarity in regards to Taurus. Yeah, I just heard someone could have different intentions than you think. I don't know why I keep getting this message. Maybe because of the snake card there. I'm so hooked on it. Letter C L D V R um, G as well as T could be significant and P as well as m all right and s um spirit is there any messages for a dear taurus ten of diamonds wow and the queen of cups the spirit here is telling you you have a heart of gold some of you i'm channeling the song um god gold by tom resenthal okay maybe there could be messages for you there but this is all about you knowing your worth and you not giving in because again, the same energy came through Cancer's reading. It's like not all the people have good intentions, Taurus. And there's something here with you protecting your energy and protecting your heart. And I feel like you, you're a type of person you try to see good in people, but not a lot of people actually deserve that. <laughs> if you get what I mean. You know, and there's something here with you going after your own happiness or sticking to what feels right to you stick into your own values and beliefs um again i don't know if some someone might have been trying to convince you to stay in a situation that's not giving you what you want okay let's say you've been wanting to again this is an example you've been wanting to have a relationship with someone a commitment and this person has not been able to offer you that you know and it could be that they just cannot offer it to you you know, so you're not the one who's in the position to try to rather compromise is the message, you know, if this is something that you really want. 
the spirit here is saying. You know what I mean? Yeah, because I feel like you truly want to fix everything, Taurus. You, you're a type of person you try to rather give your all to someone. But I'm hearing that you need to know them first. That's what I'm hearing from the spirit. You, ne you need to know people first before you actually give your heart away to them. Okay, is the message. So we're going to see here if there's any other messages. Um, yeah, let's see. Spirit, is there any changes coming through towards Taurus? Any changes or actions? Um, is there any one coming through towards Taurus within the next few weeks, maybe three weeks from now? I'm hearing to let them come to you. Is there any actions or any changes that are going to be happening in regards to Taurus's energy? For dear Taurus. We have the Six of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. So I feel that Taurus... There could be a person here. You see within this card... I'm trying to cover it because there's nudity. Um, there could be a person here who might have been trying to either come to your space, maybe reconnect with you or reach out to you. Um, whoever this is, I feel like they could be noticing that you're in your own world, like you're not even caring about them or you, you're not even paying attention to them anymore. I feel like this is the same kind of person that you're pulling away from or that you're realizing that you want to put the focus on you for the time being. I have no idea. You take as it resonates. But there's a person here who's wondering why you're not pursuing them or you're not rather <laughs> paying attention because maybe you used to you know what I mean and some of you I'm, I'm just here to tell you do not stress about whatever the situation is because I feel like someone either could be trying to even make you feel bad for something that you didn't even do you know what I mean? So maybe don't stress a lot about this situation. And especially if someone's playing mind games with you, that's kind of the message that I'm seeing. Um, let's see what else I'm seeing here. We also have the three of, yeah, three of cups. So someone could be really thinking about, about the times that you two spend together. Um, this person could also be wondering about whether you have other options. Almost a cancer. It could be connecting with Taurus. Um, Maybe you give them a some kind of an impression that you're busy or that you're not even focused on them or that you're not attached. But this person rather could be a little bit worried about why you're not all up under them for some reason. Again, I don't know if everything was going well and then something happened, but that's the kind of energy I'm seeing here. Um, Some of you, I keep feeling like this person might have given you an impression that they're not sure about you or like you want it for them to rather put something on the table, something stable, but then they didn't. Like there's something here with you feeling like this person has not been really serious about you. And maybe you put your foot down at a certain point. And you were like, hey, you know, I can't just be a choice, but I want to be made the priority here. You know what I mean? Yeah, so whether they're going to come correct or not, I mean, I could pull out one more card before I do angel messages. So let's see, Spirit, what's going to be happening here? I'm hearing, try to put the focus on staying healthy here. Some of you, I feel like, Taurus, a lot of the times... Because of the mental stress sometimes you go through, maybe you forget to eat. There's something here about like diet and like working out that's coming through. So paying attention to what you're eating and like working out could be very, very good for you. Right. So what's going to be happening, Spirit? Some of you, I also do feel like this person could be rather wanting to reconnect with you, like I said, or it is really because of how much this person thinks of the good times that they have with you or they they really don't want to lose you to someone else. I mean, that's how you know if someone really cares about you, if, if they're afraid of losing you to someone else, right? So it's the same kind of energy. Like this person could be wondering, okay, is Taurus going out with other people? Or for some obscure reason, I feel like you two are not exclusive or maybe this you two are not committed. But again, you take as it resonates, it could be. Um, Spirit, what is the 
outcome for this energy. What is the outcome? Wow, we have the three of pentacles. Yeah, so I, let's just cover this card. Feel that some of you, I definitely feel like there needs to, there will be conversation, okay? This could be happening within three days to three weeks. I do see someone here reaching out to you. Um, but all this energy speaking of here is that there needs to be some kind of a balance within this relationship, okay, or this connection. It's like you can't be the only one trying for things to work. You can be the only one rather um, doing your best to make things work, but rather it takes two. So, you, yeah, you might have just been really wanting for someone to be stable with you or to meet you halfway. Yeah, I'm hearing that song, Meet Me Halfway by Black Eyed Peas. Yeah, so I am predicting this. I do feel like there will be some kind of a conversation. And there's something here that might have not been addressed for some reason, whether it be priorities, whether it be your beliefs, your values, what you two even want out of the situation. Something here might have been really like not talked about or not addressed, if you get what I mean. And I feel like it will. Another advice tiny advice for those of you that are single is to actually be open to your other options and not saying forget about this person but there's just an energy about like reciprocity if you feel like this person's not reciprocating the same energy why are you even there you know it's like why would you why would you be afraid of losing someone if they're if they're okay with losing you basically you know so don't be afraid to rather date be open to your other options so yeah, I'm hearing, especially if it's something that you feel like they're doing. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so is there any other messages for dear Taurus? You could be just like straight up testing to someone to see how much they want you right now. Um, but yeah, there needs to be some kind of a balance. It's like, I can't be the one, the only one who wants you. I can't be the only one who pursues you, but rather we need to be balanced. We need to be working together. We need to meet each other halfway. I keep hearing something might've happened around Easter. Some of you, I just heard, um, we have the snake again and the elephant. Yeah. So someone's re realizing you're way stronger than that. Taurus, I almost said Leo, okay, or water energy here is coming through as well. Um, someone could be from there of snake, by the way, or tiger, dragon as well, I'm hearing, okay, or horse. But this is all speaking of you can see through someone's games or whatever, whatever that they're trying to do. It's like whatever type of um, manipulation technique or like <laughs> trick, you can see through it. You can see through trickery. And there's an energy of, I'm way too mature for this. I'm way too old for this. I don't, I don't need to deal with this. You know, come to me when you are being real. Come to me when you're being genuine. It's almost the same type of energy. So honestly, I feel like you're going to be dealing with this situation very maturely, Taurus, is the message. And there's also something with you believing in yourself, you knowing that you're enough, okay? And not being afraid. I keep hearing not being afraid. Because, yeah, this, this whole situation might have been really back and forth, I keep feeling. Like someone keeps stopping and starting with you, back, going back and forth. And your advice here is to actually stay put and not maybe be moved by this whole thing. Because, yeah, it's almost like a battle between the snake and the elephant it's like who's gonna win or like who's stronger um yeah for some reason i'm visualizing that it doesn't have to resonate though i just feel like you're way more than that and little games just do not affect you in that way so I feel like you're going to be moving ahead. Some of you could be also connecting with a fire or water energy, by the way. Okay, so is there any angel messages for our dear Taurus? Yeah, I keep hearing you have to come to me, correct? Okay, honestly, some of you, this is going to 
to be very specific. Someone might have been really trying to get in your head. And I feel like you're too mature for it. You're like, what are you even doing? Like, it, that doesn't bother me. Like, you got to try way harder if you want to actually affect me. <laughs> type of energy. All right. Is there any angel messages for Taurus spirit? Is there any angel messages for a dear Taurus? Is there any angel messages? Any advice do we have from you to Taurus spirit? Wow, okay. We have eight of abundance. Didn't see that coming. This is a time of learning and honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. So I feel like this is pretty self-explanatory. Some of you, I feel like you're going to just straight up focus on your career or become more productive. I feel like you're not going to procrastinate. You're not going to let your emotions rather control you, but you're going to see everything more logically. And the other thing that I'm hearing, some of you need to look at the facts rather than the potential of a situation is what the spirit here is telling you you know so yeah again like i said i feel like you're going to be too busy here and it's like you won't even have the time to like sit and think about things or get emotional over things um like someone's going to come to you because they're realizing you're not even like there or like you're not even paying attention to them some kind of an energy like that you know so this is all i have for you my dear <laughs> Taurus. i hope that this helps you i am doing personal readings sort of time being if you're interested send me an email and yeah i see a lot of prosperity in regards to your work for sure and yeah it's truly wonderful there's definitely a business change or a change in regards to your career that's going to be very very going smoothly it's going to be very good for you more money i'm hearing yeah so I'm sending you my kiss. Mm -hmm. Wishing you all the best. My warm race and my love and light. Take care. Bye-bye, honey.